be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up and leave something in the comment section, man, because we're coming back to back with videos just like this one. All right, so in this video, we got another subscriber slash viewer topic we're gonna be covering. This one's gonna come from K Deuce. He's been a subscriber with us for a while. Really appreciate you, um, you know, being active in the community. So I wanna make sure I get to your uh, question. So he said, yo, this helped me unlock a whole new level. It's called sound design. That was for a whole nother video I did, but we want to focus on this. He said, now if I can only get down to making chord progressions, you know, he said, dope video, put the hands up. Okay, boom. So what we're going to be doing is chord progressions. I'm going to be showing you how to make a dope hip hop chord progression, one chord progression in this and how to invert it and just make it sound more interesting and professional. So let's jump right in. Okay, so check this out. First things first, I'm going to throw up musical typing by pushing Command-K. And I'm going to push this just so you can kind of see the notes that I'm playing, etc., etc. I'm using a MIDI keyboard, right? And I'm going to show you how to play a dope um, hip-hop chord progression. So, so, let me move this over here like this. All right, back. So... <clears throat> When it comes to chord progressions, a couple things you got to understand how to do, obviously, is know how to play basic chords. Um, but let's just talk about minor chords because most of hip hop music is minor. One quick way to learn how to play um, some dope progressions is use um, the key of A minor. The reason why is because all the notes are white. So, like, for instance, this is A. If I play up. All the notes in there are white, so literally, that's a that's an A minor chord. That's an A major. So literally, if you're just playing all the white chords, it's pretty much you know going along with what you need to know. Now, this, these are things to keep in mind. Like so, if you start at A and go all the way up to the next A, these all coordinate with chord progression. So like. That's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, just keep that in mind. So what I'm gonna tell you how to do is this chord progression right here. So one chord, I'm just playing it in both places. I'll play it right here, one, one chord. And if you go look on the piano, one, two, three, four. So one, four. That's a five chord, okay? So that's that's a chord progression. So you could just pretty much play one, one, four, five, one. You're playing with minor, with minor chords though. Now, how you can make that a little bit more interesting is do what's called inversions, okay? What inversions are is you take the root note and move that root note above uh, or neck, next up. So like for instance, if I was going to play this as an inversion, I would take this root note, which is the bottom note, and I would transition it up one. Okay, so you could do cool things like instead of playing this, I just basically inverted that chord. So hopefully this is not going too far over your head, but it's just, I'm misinverting the chord. So, so instead of playing this four like this, I could just take this note and so that's the, basically I'm playing in a second inversion. So that's, this is the root, took this, this root note, pushed it up here. Push this note up here, but I'm just playing it now lower. So like for instance, I'll play, this is the first note, or first chord, first chord right here. And then we're gonna play that five. And if we wanted to, we could just take that five and So 
So we're inverting it. And it just makes it easier to play it if you invert the chords. So for instance, first chord, that's the four inverted. And then I just went down and played it lower right here for the five chord. You can just do a lot, look, a couple different things like that. And it just gives you some, some vibes as far as like implementing that into your music. Especially if you, you know, learn how to invert it and play, you can play different octaves of it. You know what I'm saying? Like you can go like this. You know what I'm saying? And so basically it's just about understanding the basics and then being able to take it to another level with it. So that's how you do one hip hop progression, chord progression right there. It's the one five four one or one four five one. And uh yeah, I hope you like that. Let me know in the comments if you want to know more of these and we're out until next time. Peace.